Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Earlier this evening, my friend Robert Scoble, who I've known since 1997, uh, long before he worked at Microsoft, ended up tweeting out a link with a recent video interview he did with the founder of uh, this particular company. And I learned immediately that Flipboard, this application on the iPad, was available in the iTunes App Store for free immediately, and I downloaded it straight away. And this, my friends, is the future of news distribution. Uh, beautiful mashup between social media connections, my friends on Facebook and Twitter, for instance, as uh, you see here with Facebook icon, Twitter icon, if you can't read the text there, uh, as well as traditional sources and community sources. And I found out that apparently Robert, my good friend, has me listed as a tech influencer. So thank you, Robert. I appreciate that. Uh, more than you'll ever know. Uh, nothing more uh, than I appreciate than uh, opening up a really cool application and finding my face sitting smack dab in the middle. So you can see I'm simply flipping back and forth between these various tweets, testing the magic iPad app, will post review in morning. Sorry, Marshall. Uh, I think I beat you to it. I bet you he's talking about the application that I'm showing you right now. Flipboard doesn't yet have semantics, but soon will, according to my, according to correction. And that's from someone else I'm following. Most interesting thing about Flipboard is that they have some semantic... Oh, he corrected himself before then. Boy, apparently someone was tweeting a lot tonight, getting ready to try starting up the Ultimate PC 2.0. Oh, hey, cool, Scott. Hope to see you again here soon. Either way, uh, this is a way that I'm going to start navigating uh, information that flows through my Facebook connections, as well as Twitter and uh, traditional news, specifically in the tech division. But of course they have more that you can add. It's really easy to get more information about the article and uh, also uh, the original sources for the article. And uh, I gotta tell you, this is gonna get interesting. Right at the top it shows me my Twitter lists, so if I wanted to, I could add the Washington Wines list, my Laughables, uh, the list of Seattle startups. Sorry about that, guys. I'm like holding on to uh, the iPhone for recording this particular video with one hand so I can use the other hand to navigate. And unfortunately, the light in the room is making me look like an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> Either way, it looks like they're going to have a, a few picks to subscribe to. Some interesting, <laughs> interesting stuff there. You'll have to pardon if you can't see the time there. It's a little past midnight. Uh, a few uh, notables right there. There's an uh, image of Robert, Giga Ohm, a few others down here. Ooh, boing boing, a must add. Oh, I saw the onion in there. Okay, cool. Hang on. Let me. Oh, uh, no, I don't want to go back to the home page. Too many bubbles. That was odd. Edit. Oh, do I only. Do I have nine? Oh, no, there's got to be more than that. Oh, it's not enough information. I wonder if I can get more by doing it that way. That more? Scrolly, scrolly, am I missing something? Oh, man. Fine. I guess I gotta limit my world right now, either that or I'm missing a feature. Hey, I just started playing with it, and if nothing else, then at least you'll know about it. Flipboard is the name of the application, available for free in the iTunes App Store, or if you want a direct link, I'll just send you off to go.tagjag.com slash flipboard. That way you know you're getting the right app. So thank you, Robert. Uh, really cool exclusive you got here, and I'd say this is uh, pretty much going to be the way that I'm going to be enjoying the latest news, so long as I can add more than nine images on the front page. Um, took a while to get things connected, because apparently they're not just going directly to these sources, but they're caching them. They had a few scalability issues. I think they may have underestimated the power of the geeks that Robert happens to be connected to. Uh, and myself being one of them. Oh, there's a cat photo up there, the Twitter thing. That's neat. Look at that. Uh, and I can even respond right there, checking for co Oh, checking for commentary. Ha! Huh. They were checking for commentary on during Fireball's website. That wasn't going to happen. Oh, Ars Technica. Oh, pulled in the comments right there. Nice. Let's see here, Flip Tech on Twitter. We'll see the conversation. Flip Tech. It's an Engadget thread. It looks like a retweet. This is getting interesting. Venture Beat, look at that. I'm I'm seeing the, the retweets there too. Huh. Okay. Okay. I I I'm hooked. Are you?
you know of any other really cool news-like application that ma mashes up your social media connections right there on the same app, let me know. My email address, chris at perillo.com. Of course, you know you can find me on Twitter at Chris Perillo. I'm also on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Chris Perillo is the community fan page. And then you know we also have a live video feed, which I'm going to try to pull in here. And obviously, or maybe it's not so obvious, I'm you know not in my home office right now. But uh, even when I'm not, the video feed should be going with a chat room, typically talking tech. Even if I'm not there, someone usually is hanging out and... Someone's been playing in my home office. Ooh, that's a really cool screensaver. Either way, you're more than welcome to stop by here on the iPad. It's pocket.perillo.com, or if you're in a regular desktop web browser, it's at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later. <laughs>